Modern Horizons will impact Modern a nutload more than any other set prior. So let's just jump right into it. Force of Vigor. It says destroy up to two artifacts and or enchantments. But more importantly, on our opponent's turn, we may exile a green card from hand instead of paying Force of Vigor's mana cost. And that is relevant for a few reasons. First of all, let's say our opponent plays Chalice on one. The problem is that most anti-artifact and enchantment cards cost one and will not be able to take out Chalice. But Force of Vigor gets around that. And likewise, if our opponent plays Blood Moon and turns all of our lands into mountains, that would be bad. But with Force of Vigor, we can take out Blood Moon. Some decks that would look to play this would be Dredge, since Leyla and Artifact Gavard hate Wreck Dredge, and also Tron to take out Stony Silences and Damping Sphere. But the problem is that both of these decks lack green cards and would probably be better off with Nature's Claim. So Force of Vigor gets three and a half out of five surprises. Next, let's look at Season Pyromancer. For three mana, it says when it enters, discard two, draw two, then make a 1-1 token for each non-line card discarded. At first, he does not seem all that great, but he's actually a lot better than he looks, and it's not only because of his fantastic moves. If we play him with no cards in hand, we just draw two cards. And in decks like Midrange Control and Hollow One, the discarding actually helps since we can discard cards like Bloodgast and Lingering Souls. And on top of that, he works great with cards like Flicker Wisp and Restoration Angel. So I think this card is worthy of four and a half out of five surprises. Next is Giver of Ruins, very similar to Legacy's Mother of Ruins. Giver says tap, another creature you control gains protection from a color or from colorless until end of turn. It is great for protecting it against removal and making a creature unblockable. And compared to Mother of Ruins, on the upside, Giver gives protection from colorless. But on the downside, and this is a huge downside, Giver cannot target itself. Mother of Ruins being able to protect herself is why she is so good in Legacy since she guarantees that the first removal card will be stopped. And even worse, I can't make Yo Mama jokes with Giver, so she only gets 3.5 out of 5 surprises. She thick, but perhaps not thick enough. Next is a card that people are calling Ball Blightning. For 3 mana, it is a 6-1 with Trample and Haste. And when it deals combat damage to our opponent, they discard 2 cards and that is pretty good. Unless our opponent has creature removal, it's almost guaranteed that they'll discard two cards. We need black to play it, but Rakdos Burn is already pretty close to becoming a thing in modern, especially with Bump in the Night. I am very excited for this card, which is why it gets four out of five surprises. Next is a big one, and that is the Horizon Lands. Basically, we're getting Horizon Canopy in other color combinations. Horizon Canopy, being arguably the most powerful land in modern, makes sense considering that green-white is not the strongest color combination by itself. But is it and Boros Aggro decks are definitely not lacking in modern, so I am somewhat concerned that these new lands might be a bit too powerful, but nonetheless, they obviously get five out of five surprises. But now I have saved the best card for last because here is the best card in the set. When it enters, it makes four squirrels. You like squirrels, I like squirrels, everyone likes squirrels. Six out of five surprises, hands down. But that is all for now. If you are wondering why a particular card was not on this list, it is probably because it had not yet been spoiled at the time of this recording. So let me know in the comments which cards you think should be added when I make a part two. And be sure to subscribe so you don't don't miss that video. And as always, I hope you have a great day. He needs some milk.